Facebook ads can be really complicated to create inside the Facebook ads manager and even harder to maintain. So with Scalify, we are going to solve that issue for you. So let us show you how that works. So soon as you arrive at the dashboard, you will have this overview. Now, once we go to launch, we are going to enter the ads campaign creation. So for this demo video, let's do a targeting campaign. As you can see, the first step is an offer. It's optional, but if you connect it to your web shop, uh, like Shopify, WooCommerce, you might have these products available to you, which you can create an offer to. If you're a digital marketing agency and you don't have one, you can skip this step or you can create a new offer as well. For now, I will just skip this. We go into the ads campaign. From the ads campaign, we can either choose existing or new. So let's choose a new campaign. And as you can see, it's the, the layout is really similar to that of the Facebook Ads Manager, but you have a lot of more options inside of Scalify. So for the campaign objective, let's do a traffic objective. Let's say something like, for me, I have a membership uh, for my own personal business that's called the Template Club. And it's a di digital membership where people can get access on um, all kinds of features to grow their uh, business with chatbot and omnichannel marketing. So that is where I want to drive traffic to. So I'm also going to check the campaign budget optimization because I like budget optimization to happen at the campaign level instead of an ad set level. And I'll set my daily lifetime budget to, let's say $100, a lifetime budget. Then once ready, let's press next. And from here, you will get inside of the ads creation tool. And as you can see, we are going down these tabs, but each tab will have its own settings. And from here, the first setting you will have is to schedule your, um, your ad itself. And let's leave the end date as is. That's fine for now. So if we press next, you will see we go into the interest. We can add a, a interest variation. And at this moment, you will see that we only have one ad set at this moment. So let's add an uh, let's add a variation, an interest. So for me, it's important that a person I'm targeting has a business page and is an admin of a Facebook business page. So that's one of the uh, targeting interests I want to have. And here we have it. So let's press next. Then we go into the location. And let's add one other variation. So there we have it. And you will see that we already now created two ad sets. And the more you add, the more ad sets will be created for, for you. And now we come to the gender. But I also want to target different genders. So I want to split the traffic. There we go. And then say generate. And as you can see, we have now two uh, variations in both female and male, and you will see our ad set has been doubled. It's going to be created automatically for us. Go to placements. So one variation I will set to automatic, and let's say the second variation, we will only go on Instagram. And then you will see that the ad set has been doubled to eight already. And then we have the optimization. So let's say the link clicks, that's fine, and impressions as well. Let's go to next. And now we get to the ad creatives. As you can see, we totally do not have any creatives yet. So let's create a few. So I've created three ad creatives, right? So I can now press next. And from here, we can choose photos. We can also say upload. So let me upload a photo. So I've just added a few photos. And so uh, some are stock, some are of my own membership. So let's press next, and then we get to the ad creators. So add the URL of the page you would like to advertise. You can add multiple URLs to split test as well. So let me just grab the URL from a membership. Let's say we want to have a display URL. Then we come to the call to action. So these are the call to actions available in Facebook Advertiser. So let's make it into these three uh, call to actions. Then we have the description. So a headline and a description. 
but let's leave it at these two descriptions for now. Let's press next. And now we will see how many creators we are getting. Once you activated the ones you want to, I activated 20 creators. You can also preview them. So if we say preview, you can then do a post preview on the desktop and you can also do mobile, Instagram, Insta Instagram story, Insta article, and you can see exactly how it looks like. So once you are done, you can go to the review stage and we'll now see an overview of your entire campaign. So step by step, you can even calculate the potential reach. So if you do that, you will be able to see how many people you will most likely get within your campaign. So once done, you can go to next. Once done, you come at this launch overview and you can take a look at these two different setups. So for example, all sets inside each ad set that Facebook algorithms determine which ads should receive more impressions. This in general works good, but there are some instances that the Facebook algorithm is not even uh, triggered yet. And all the ads spent, all the campaign budget will go to a single uh, ad set without testing the other ones. So you might also want to split test this so you can duplicate the campaign and then go for this campaign strategy instead. So give force Facebook to spend all of the ad set budgets on each ad. So those are the two recommendations, two, two options. Then we come to the ad set naming and you can just grab any of these options to name them. You can also integrate Google Analytics and then press launch. As you can see, Scalify will simplify the process for you with a beautiful interface that allows you to dynamically create Facebook ads with all sorts of different variables within just minutes. So don't forget to grab a copy of Scalify and give it a go. So you saw how easy it is to create ads within just minutes within Scalify. And it's not even just a simple ad creation. You can create dynamic creatives within that same campaign without any extra difficulty. So grab your copy of Scalify and try it out for yourself.